Hello and welcome to our demonstration of Alpaca. After this guide, you will be familiar with what Alpaca can do. Let's start! You are a researcher, or a student, or a data mining scientist, and you have to analyze a domain-specific tech corpus, find the topics, get a chance, or dig for more insights of a topic. In NLP, short for Natural Language Processing, the very first task could be preprocessing the text, finding part of speech tags, scoring the keywords, or looking for linguistic patterns. Most of these tasks can be done with the aid from some popular NLP tools such as Stanford NLP, NLPK, LinkPipe, etc. However, these tools usually cannot be applied right away on a domain-specific corpus, as the dictionaries, models, assumptions usually fit the more general text corpora. An example would be the security reports in a common vulnerability and exposure dataset that have a high proportion of technical IT and security-related terms. Another example would be the text from user reviews in mobile app stores Previous studies showed that they are often in a grammatical mess, and the words people use in reviews can sometimes have different meanings in a different context. Like launch, for example. It means start or open an application in the context of mobile app, but it also can have a whole new meaning in rocket science. Therefore, to apply the aforementioned tools on a domain-specific corpus, we often have to add new vocabulary, or new scoring schemas, or even retrain the models, which is sometimes difficult because of lack of labeled data. Alpaca framework is designed to address those problems by introducing a highly customizable approach to preprocessing, topic expansion, and chain analysis. In the following example, we demonstrate one use case of Alpaca to find the chance of SQL injection attacks on CV dataset. Step 1. We choose the dictionaries that is used for this dataset. The early version of Alpaca came with a dictionary for English and IT related words. It also defined a list of functional words such as connectors, intensifiers, WH or negations. We can also define new domain-specific functional words. In this case, from our observation of the data, we can add a word allowed to this list. Next step is to preprocess the data. We choose to reduce the text to root words because previous studies have suggested that root words can offer more meaning than its overstamped version. The preprocessed text is then combined with a Wikipedia corpus for word to vet training, and finally, its keywords are ranked. It took about 30 minutes on our Core i7 laptop for this task. 30 minutes later. Here is an example of the text after preprocessing, and the result is a root word version of the original text with corresponding post tags. In step 3, we can firstly expand the topic of SQL injection attacks by using either the linguistic patterns provided along with the early version of Alpaca or extracting from the current dataset. In this scenario, we simply choose the former option as the extraction process deserves a whole other demonstration which were discussed in our paper. Besides, we want to see some results as soon as possible to see if Alpaca works. Here are some results of topic expansion. As we can see, these statements further explain the topic, such as how to attack with SQL injection and what were vulnerable. Now let's see the chant. We see that SQL attacks are reported less and less after the year 2008. The reason for this decrease is up to debate, but the results suggest that SQL injection attacks are not as popular as it used to be. You can find Alpaca script for this use case in our paper, along with further explanation of each function. Thank you for watching.